Good morning. So I just got done filming a Glove, a Grove Collaborative unboxing. I can never say that. Grove Collaborative. And I thought I would do a day in the life video, just bring you guys along with me today as I go about my usual routines. Alrighty, it is almost 12 o'clock and Gavin's going to head to his homeschool site. Gavin has math tutoring at the homeschool site and then he takes a conversational Spanish class and an art class. So I'm going to drop him off right now and then I'm going to meet my sister Rachel for lunch. Not sure where we're going to go yet, somewhere that has salads. And so I'll check in later. Pieces. Okay, I dropped Gavin off and I have a few minutes to spare before Rachel has her lunch break. And I'm just sitting here loving my baby. Posey, can you say hi? <laughs> she loves to have her tummy rubbed. You love that? I can't even see your eyes. I can't even see your eyes. I can't even see your eyes. Dirty her. She's a sweet baby. We adore her. So, just picked up Rachel and now we're heading to lunch. Where are we gonna go? From the Heart Cafe. Isn't that where you wanna go? Yeah, I think so. I really want Indian food. Sorry, I'm being good. <laughs> so, there's a salad there that Rachel told me is really good. Hopefully she's not a big liar. Is it good? It's my favorite, but I don't know, I'm feeling like that. Ah! What, what are you guys doing? You! <laughs> Modern Greek salad. It has chicken, sun dried tomatoes, cucumbers, red onions, and a really nice, like, creamy Greek dressing. Cheese. Oh, and goat cheese. Rachel got a wrap, french fries, and pasta. Very yummy. So I'm back from lunch and I'm sitting here. Looking at this desk that I've been working on, I got a desk from my grandparents after they passed away. It's a really large, nice desk, and I've painted it. It's not completely done being painted yet, but I was at the Dollar Tree last night, and I saw these um, like shelf liners, kind of like a um, slip-proof shelf liner, and I thought it would be nice in the inside of the drawer, so I'm going to maybe try to cut those to size and put them in, but here's the desk. It's a really big desk. It's actually like 33 inches deep and 65 inches wide. And I love it. I can do all kinds of things up here, including my makeup. Um, I like to sew, so I'll have my sewing machine up here. Crafting, I like to journal as well, or scratch that. I like to... Um, use these planners that you can decorate. I think that's a lot of fun. I got this at Michael's last year. Um, and so it's just kind of a nice outlet. If you want to be creative, you can fill out um, a week spread and it doesn't take too long. It can take a long time if you want, but I just kind of go in there and stick on some stickers, plan my week out. Sometimes I'll record things that I've done after the fact even because it is kind of fun to flip back and um, remember things that you've done or if you need to recall something so anyways I really like this it's a fun thing to do I want to get in here here's a big drawer that's just a mess like a bunch of my makeup and face lotions that new toothpaste the charcoal toothpaste my makeup bags down there um, and then there's two drawers on this side but I want to open them up and see if I can get that shelf liner in there and fit to size. Here is the shelf liner that I was talking about. It's called Vinyl Top Liner. It's a non-adhesive and non-slip cushion and protect, washable, stain resistant. So this one just kind of looks like, um, kind of like a 12 pattern. So let's see if I can do it.
Okay, there's one drawer. I did have to piece in um, two separate pieces, but I think that looks good. Okay, well I didn't have enough to finish all the drawers, but I was able to do this middle drawer here. I think that looks really lovely. And also the deep drawer here with all my messy junk in there. And so I'll run to the Dollar Tree maybe today or tomorrow and pick up another roll or two to do those last two drawers over here. So yeah, I think that was a quick and easy little project that made it look nice. Recently, I went to Hobby Lobby and I found these two mirrors. I bought two of each actually because I couldn't make up my mind. I wanna hang them above my nightstands on either side of my bed. And I think that this style is maybe more of what I'm going for. I really like this one to be hung vertically. But what I had envisioned originally was a window pane um, kind of mirror. But this one, as you can see here, is very um, pointed at the top and I had envisioned something a little more rounded off. This isn't bad. I think it's pretty, but I just cannot make up my mind. What do you guys think? The problem with this one, actually, I think I would go with this one, but this color, I don't know if this even, um, if you can tell at all, but it's kind of a minty bluish green. It's really pretty, but my headboard is gray and I don't know if that goes well with it. The, and the rest of the furniture in the room is white. It's actually in the process of being, I'm, re I'm redoing my bedroom. So let me know what you guys think. Which one do you think is um, the one that I should get? Which one do you think I should get? Just picked Gavin up from homeschool site and let's see what you made in art, Gavin. They did vegetable prints with their, <laughs> turn it over. They painted with vegetable, they, vegetables. So let's see it. Ooh, fancy. Did you have multiple colors to choose from? Yeah, but I only like orange. And look really closely without getting paint everywhere. Oh, you see that little face? Careful. Let's see if the little face right there. Can you see more? Look. Where? That little face right there. Where? You see it? Yes. It blends in perfectly. Okay. It's an actual cutout. Look. Which one? That one? Oh. You see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why did you put that on there? Guys, it fell like it. All right, guys. Now you're in Gavin Cam. Switching over to Gavin Cam. Look. If you get too close, Gavin, it might not work. All right. Bye, guys. We're messing up a lot. We're already starting. Cookies and what is this place called? Yogurt. Cookies and yogurt. Cookies and yogurt. Our favorite go-to sweet spot. What do you get, Sunny? Yeah, I do. I come here um, almost all the time for my I lunch. You're just not with me. Ice cream mm -hmm. and lunch? chocolate. And I got vanilla. And I got rocks. And I got chocolate rocks. Oreos. And spikes. Sparkles. And I got M&M's. And I got chocolate chips. Dang, you got a lot. What'd you get sparkles? there? Sparkles? Where are the sprinkles? Sprinkles. sprinkles. What'd um, you get there? I just got basically a chocolate. Yogurt with Reese's peanut butter cups and strawberries and hazelnut yogurt. It's mine, I'm going. <laughs> What'd you get, Ivoroni? Got vanilla ice cream, MMs, peanuts, and I got a cookie, and then I got strawberries and cherries. Yeah, this place is really cute. It's decorated and um, Christmas stuff all year round and you can buy Christmas decor all year round and also cookie jars, all kinds of different cookie jars. Not all of them are Christmas themed. I don't know where they are, but it's a fun store. And then they have um, the toppings for the Froyo and the Froyo. And then there's cookies up front. We are at the Goodwill. We're gonna go in here and check out the merchandise and see what they have and what we can maybe buy. Let's so start a cookie jar collection. <laughs> Lots of stuff. I don't know. I think if this is Christmas stuff, we're gonna look and see if there's anything we can um, damp up at home. <laughs> Hey guys, we're going to go ahead and close out the video. Um, Claire and I decided to put on these masks. 
there is, we got this in our BoxyCharm subscription, which is a really fun subscription box. I'll have to do an unboxing when our um, November box comes. But anyways, there, it came with a little tube of a black charcoal face mask and you would put it on, or we did, we put it on our targeted little areas wherever you feel like you need it and not on your whole face. And then you take the, it's actual like stretchy lace material and put it over your face and it hooks around your ears and the jaw line even comes up and hooks over your ears. And then you leave it on for about 20 minutes and it peels off. When you pull the lace off, it peels the mask off with it. So hopefully we'll have gorgeous skin when we take these hilarious get-ups off. <laughs> so anyways, thanks for following along with me today and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great evening.